In this video I will show you how to create a new uh, a widget on your smart for your Android smartphone uh, done by the uh, Android Studio. That's quite simple. So first I create a new project. So we start from the ground up and uh, have a look back on there. This uh, minimum uh, APK is um, Android 4 Jelly Beans. That's a little bit important, you will see at a later point, because uh, a widget is uh, available for the home screen on both versions, uh, yeah, on both, or, or at least at uh, version 5. five. So Android f 5 Lollipop uh, is a, a change, uh, changing version, so on, uh, on versions above five, uh, Android 5, the lock screen is not um, available for widg widgets anymore and before it was av available. Okay, let's start that. We start with an empty activity. That's default uh, stuff. <coughs> and let's see, while this is running, yep. Yeah. System comes up, building up. More application. Now the Android Studio is starting. It opens my new project. And they have uh, they have created some help in the some automatism in the Android Studio for that. Okay, system still coming up. Let's start here. Uh, we, w when the system came up here, we have the main activity. That's default. And let's say this is our another text uh, demo widget. So that we know that it's uh, that's the app, and now we say okay here uh, we need in the folder Java we say new and the, here's a bigger block here we have here uh, create a app widget and and for the app widget the default is here home screen only that's uh, because here keycard only. Uh, on API 17 plus or you say home screen and key guard okay this one and let's have a look on there again home screen only or key card only api 17 plus that's important on, a, on another point uh, let's have a look on there uh, here that's written in the uh, here on developerandroid.com it's written the um, for android 5 zero and higher only home screen is valid and uh, only Android versions lower than 5.0 uh, support uh, lock screen widgets. So when you select on here um, keyguard, then the keyguard is only uh, the home. It's only available on home screen and not uh, the key not on the lock screen. On higher uh, on the for the future ap applications, and then there's also a button here, click button configuration screen, and maybe you want to have here a, a, a one app with two uh, the let's uh, two grid positions. The app uh, the widget will be um, placed on those um, positions on the home screen or cells here written it's uh, as cells and now I start that stuff and you will see what's going on and 
the system creates one file in uh, in the Java files where the code is placed for the new Java and something which is called app widget configuration activity. We'll see what, what this is at uh, the later point. And then we have on the resources a layout, a layout for the main activity itself. So uh, you may have uh, an app where you do some some stuff and uh, and the widget itself is um, let's say an additional option and we have here the uh, layout for the app widget this is this one that's the text which we will see on the on a later point there's a text view and the text view let's have a look on there again there's uh, only those uh, only that stuff is possible there a button image button text view and some some other views um, are possible to be placed in this uh, in this lock screen widget <coughs> uh, in this widget the home widget on the home screen or on the lock screen so uh, and now if now we run that stuff on our uh, on our, our emulator and while this is uh, running I'll show you something on the manifest the manifest there is also something written in there where we should have a, uh, a look on The when the system created that widget template, there uh, it, uh, it added the, uh, this uh, receiver uh, tag and the intent filter and the metadata. So this is uh, done by uh, by inserting that widget uh, by the menu, and there's also this here. Um, with the add widget and I will show you now on here on our stuff I placed my when the system came up with this stuff what I said at the moment this is the app itself it now when I click on there uh, on my home screen there will come up a widget block and on the widget block before I tested it with my my widget now when I click on there and I hold it then I may uh, place it somewhere on my uh, home screen and I there's an <coughs> automatically when I drop it there that comes up a configuration so this is my uh, first example first first widget Now I add this widget and the widget comes here and uh, also uh, takes that text and I can click on there uh, there's no action bound with this um, with this widget it's like a, it's like a notification or something like this and we close this now for the moment um, yeah. <coughs> and now here we see uh, here the new app widget info uh, the XAML file there's a uh, one small block in there uh, which is called Android configure and this forces uh, the in my application the new app widget configuration activity so this one uh, this class will be opened uh, as soon as you uh, implement the the widget into the uh, home screen and a fur further point on this uh, app was to show <coughs> you see Nexus API 23 now this is starting and the point is on since this is API 23 is that 
we can't uh, configure here something uh, anything on the lock screen so the, the widget is not available on the lock screen at this point <laughs>